Alright guys, Revolve Rosslet here, and I know, again, I'm back. Three videos in a week, I must be desperate. No, today I thought I'd finally give you my room tour. Now, this is being recorded on my phone, so I apologise if it's too fast, if anything's not focused on enough. Um, I also apologise for the sound quality. Clearly a phone is not what you record stuff like this on, but it's all they have of me at this moment, and I really wanted to show you my room uh, in my new house, which I moved into uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, this is my games room. I'm going to go around it. I'm just kind of leaving you on this shot at the minute, showing you a little couple of different areas we're going to go to. Um, there is also a couple of shelves outside that I may show at the end of the video. Um, but without further ado, we should probably just get to it. So I guess we will start with this couch. Uh, this couch, of course, is covered with massive Pokemon. These are the four original Pokemon from uh, the original uh, Pokemon games, blue, red, and yellow. You've got Charmander over there with a bit of a nose on him. He looks a bit like a dinosaur. You've got Squirtle in the middle. You've got Pikachu, and then you've got uh, Bulbasaur. I actually won all of these from Hyde Park when me and Sherelle went for uh, New Year's. We went down the Thames and watched the fireworks and stuff. Um, we went to Hyde Park twice during our visit, and I won two a day. I did all the ball throwing. I was the one who won all the toys. Uh, I won Squirtle and Bulbasaur on the first day. And then the second time we went, we won a Pikachu. There was no other Charmanders at the stall we were at. So I had to get another Pikachu and go to another stall and then just swap it. And they were really nice about it. But yeah, we won all these toys at Hyde Park. If you want these toys, they're actually really nice. They're really well made. They're really... um. They're comfy as well, and they're really, really pretty. They're properly licensed. They're really, really nice teddy bears. And they didn't cost us that much money. And, you know, the game we won on was relatively easy. So it's really, really nice that they just sit on my couch whenever I need to sit down. I just take them off and put them over there. Um, but, yeah, let's uh, move on to the shelves. Now, these are gonna, definitely going to be the most quantity of stuff. So we're going to start right at the top. Right there, we have my Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition on Xbox 360. This is the one I got from my brother for like £10. He bought it, he pre-ordered the game, uh, Fallout New Vegas, back in 2010, when that game was originally being released. And um, I just bought it off him a couple of years later. It's a really good collection. You get a comic book in there, you get a platinum chip, you get some really nice casino chips for the different casinos in New Vegas. And of course you get a director's DVD, and of course you get Fallout New Vegas. Um, next to that we have my special edition of Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. We've got The Two Towers, the extended edition inside. And then we've got this statue of Gollum here, which we'll have a look at. I'm sorry about the lens flare. Um, but that is a big statue of Gollum. I thought it's a really, really cool statue, and I thought I'd have it up top here. Then we have two things that I'm essentially borrowing, but I really wanted to put on show from my girlfriend's brother, Hayden. Um, these are um, uh, old, as you can tell. Uh, WWF figures back from the early 2000s because these are Jack specific figures. See this set, it's called the the billion dollar uh, the billion dollar trio set, and this is basically around the time that there was the love angle between Kurt Angle and Triple H. You've also got Stephen Ungerman there. Just really really cool things to have in packaging. I'd never open them. I don't think Shrell's brother would want me to, but I'd never open them anyway just because they're really really cool figures. And then this set over here, it might even be uh, just a little bit cooler. We've got the King of the Ring set. So this is King of the Ring 2000. So you've got Matt Hardy there. You've got um, Stone Cold at the top. You've got Edge. You've got uh, Jeff Hardy. Uh, Jeff Hardy's actually there. That one's Matt Hardy. You've got Devon Dudley. And then at this bottom corner, you can't really see it. But that is Kurt Angle. Trash can. Couple of title belts in there. Really, really cool set. Um, without then, we're going to move back over to this shelf. My arm is already killing me from holding this phone. Um, we have my gaming-related pop vinyl. Now, some of the other pop vinyl, this is not all of them, obviously, are outside on a shelf, and I'll probably show that at the end of the video. But these are all my gaming-related pop vinyl. So you've got Strider Hear You, and that is from the MVC Infinite Special Edition 2-packs they did. I've also got Gamora from that set over here. Now, she's not a Marvel character because she's from that game. That's why she's on this shelf. Um, you've got Jill Valentine there. You've got Reinhardt from Overwatch, Clayton Carmine from Gears of War. You've got Piper and Nick Valentine from Fallout 4, Siri from uh, The Witcher, you've got the Nemesis in the background from Resident Evil, you've got Garrus, probably the most prized one from Mass Effect 2, you've got Jarl from Mass Effect Andromeda, you've got Nathan Drake, Batman the Arkham Knight, uh, the Arkham Knight Jason Todd 
from uh, Batman Arkham Knight. You got Leon Kennedy. You got the Big Daddy from Bioshock, which is probably my favourite one. And you got Cami White from Street Fighter. Some really cool gaming related pop vinyl. Uh, my birthday is like coming up very soon, so I'm hoping I might get some more for that. Definitely some more Mass Effect ones would be very, very beneficial for my collection. Um, and then there you've got the first two games of my PS4 collection. You've got a way out, and then you've got Assassin's Creed, the Ezio collection. I can just tell what that is. Um, then we move down here and we move on to my PlayStation 4 collection. Now you can see I've got my PlayStation Stubbinses on a couple of the shelves. We've got Atreus from uh, God of War there, um, and then we've got Kratos over there. So I'm just going to move Atreus for now um, and just go through the collection. So as you can see, I obviously did a video very recently on my collection. Uh, and uh, if you haven't seen that, absolutely check it out. You know, you've got Batman and Arkham Knight there, Bioshock the Collection, Borderlands, Evil Within, Bloodborne, Detroit Become Human with the Collector's Art Book, which is there. Um, then you've got Fallout 4, you've got FIFA 18, 15, Fire Pro Wrestling World, which is a PlayStation exclusive. You've got the two Hitman games on PS4. You've got Hello Neighbor, Life is Strange. Um, you've got Marvel Spider-Man, Mass Effect Andromeda. Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain, The Metro Redux. I'm just going to move Kratos out of the way. Put Kratos in that corner. Sorry for that, guys. Sit up, Kratos. Good boy. Then you got Resident Evil 2, 5, 6, Revelations 2, 7, Saints Row 4, uh, Re-Elected, Spyro, Reignited Trilogy, Star Wars Battlefront, the original one, Tomb Raider Definitive, Uncharted 4, and Lost Legacy, you've got the two Walking Dead games, Wolf Among Us, and then WWE 2K15, 16, 18, and 19 Steelbook, and then Zombie Army Trilogy. So that is all my PlayStation 4 games. Obviously, I did that in a video very recently. I don't think I've picked up any really since then. Um, I do know I'm getting one for my birthday. Uh, I've just put Kratos and Atreus back. Up, um, which will go on that shelf and I will be playing quite a lot and I'll probably reference that a little bit later on in the video um, Down here we have my wrestling DVD shelf. They're DVDs that need to go back to people But here we have my wrestling DVDs. So at the beginning we have um, I believe it's Hardcore Heaven or is it something like that? Um, uh, the Hardcore Homecoming, sorry and then we've got my uh, New Japan DVDs. This is Wrestle Kingdoms 9, 10, and 11. All really great shows. These cost a lot of money. And these are like the pride and joys of my wrestling collection. You've got Wrestle Kingdom 11 there, Okada and Omega. You've got Wrestle Kingdom 10 here, which is Okada, Tanahashi, and then Styles, Nakamura. And then Wrestle Kingdom 9, which is uh, Nakamura and Ibushi. And um, Okada, Tanahashi again, really great shows, all three of them. And then you've got just an assortment of WWE pay per views. I did a, a video a long time ago, but I'll just read some of them out to you the big ones. So you've got Backlash 2001, WrestleMania 18, Survivor Series 2002, SummerSlam 2004, Great American Bash 2006, which was the first WWE pay per view I ever watched. Unforgiven 06, you've got Rolling Below 07, skipping forward a little bit, you've got Night of Champions 08, you've got Armageddon 08, which is one of my favourite pay-per-views ever, just because Jeff Hardy wins the WWE title. WrestleMania 25, which I just re-watched The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels match from that show again, because it is a classic. Uh, then you've got a pretty much a long run of 2009 pay-per-views, going from Backlash, Night of Champions, SummerSlam, Breaking Point, Hell in a Cell... Uh, bragging rights, Survivor Series, and then you go 2010, there's two there, Bragging Rights, and SummerSlam. You've got 2012's Royal Rumble, which is won by Sheamus. Then you've got two 2014 pay-per-views, or three actually, because you've got The Chamber, WrestleMania 30, and SummerSlam 2014. Then you've got a bunch of compilation sets, Batista, best pay-per-view matches of 2011 and 2014, Brock Lesnar, the Chris Benoit DVD, which is probably my favourite because he is my favourite wrestler of all time, Chris Jericho, Breaking the Walls Down, CM Punk, Best of the World, Daniel Bryan, Just Say Yes, Viva La Raza, The Legacy of Eddie Guerrero, Forever Hardcore, which is a really interesting documentary, a hit Man Heart Wrestling with Shadows is a really interesting documentary. The Kurt Angle DVD is probably one of the best match comps they've ever released. You've got little Kevin Owens there defending his uh, wrestling shelf. Um, you've got the Kevin Owens um, DVD, which is right there, actually. Um, the Ladder Match DVD, NXT 
the beginning of NXT, so like the rise of NXT, Randy Orton, Evolution of a Viper, and then the final ones are right down here. So you've got Rey Mysterio DVDs here and here, Road Warriors, um, then you've got this one, which I can't remember. Oh, it's Scooby-Doo, uh, the Scooby-Doo WrestleMania um, with, um, yeah, the Scooby-Doo WrestleMania one. And you've got two Shawn Michaels DVDs. You've got Heartbreak and Triumph, which is a really fantastic one, and then From the Vault, which is also really fantastic too. Uh, and then finally, the Destruction of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then you've got three UFC DVDs, Ill Will, Redemption, and Evans Makeda. They're all good shows. Ill Will uh, is, I believe, it's BJ Penn against Sean Shirk. Uh, yes, it is. BJ Penn and Sean Shirk. I actually remembered that. And then you've got Sporting DVDs here, which ends here. So it's basically England versus um, Germany 5-1. Then you've got um, Ian Wright's Things That Really Shouldn't Happen to a Football. And then there's just two... Manchester United DVDs here and here. You've got Double Champions, which is a 2007-2008 season review. And then you've got Manchester United Legends, which looks at Dennis Law, Bobby Charlton and George Best. Then you move on to my actual DVD collection. I haven't put these in like series or like uh, film order. It's just in alphabetical order. So you've got a film like Ali next to Arrow, um, Avatar... Um, you've got the Batman collection, you've got Babble the film, which is a really good film, you've got a bunch of Batman animated films, Billy Madison, you've got Chuck, Casablanca, Citizen Kane's there, um, Citizen Kane's right there, which it looks so weird next to Chuck, you've got Damned United, which is a great film, Forty Towers is a series, Escape to Victory, the first series of Friends, the Golf films, the Hitman movie, which is trash, but I love Hitman, so I've got to have it, the Italian Job, one of my favourite films of all time, Kick-Ass 2, the Lego movie, Malcolm X, the Marine with John Cena, uh, and then you move down here, and you have Million Dollar Baby, Munich, The Pianist, The Resident Evil, crappy films, and then the really good animated two. And then you'll see the third one in my Blu-ray collection a little further on. Uh, the Rocky collection, without the Creeds. Uh, my Star Wars Clone Wars collection, without the fourth series. Uh, the Superman collection of films, the animated ones. Teen Titans, the first series, which is fantastic. The Thunderbirds collection, which is one of my pride and joys of my collection as well. And then you've got United, the film, which is fantastic and stars David Tennant. Um, v for Vendetta, one of my favourite films of all time. The Wallace and Gromits, which I love too. I love Claymation. Um, I believe that is, yep, yeah, the Wonder Woman uh, animated film, which is pretty good. Uh, the Young Ones, and then you move into my, like, Blu-rays. So this is, like, um, so the first one is, yeah, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, which I've still unopened. Um, then you've got Batman Ninja, which is a fantastic animation, and that's the Steel Book as well. Uh, really, really pretty. I got that for my birthday last year from my brother and his girlfriend. Really appreciate that. Captain America Civil War, which, obviously, I talked about my, um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe the other day and what my favourite... Marvel films are, that is definitely number one or two, really love that film, uh, then you've got two copies of Casino Royale for no reason, uh, then you've got, I don't know what that is, oh it's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, uh, which is a great film, um, I am sorry if you can't read these, that's why I'm trying to read as many as possible, then you've got a bunch of Justice League films, you've got Justice League Gods, no, Gods and Monsters, then you've got um, Throne of Atlantis, then you've got, da da da, Atlantis, then you've got Justice League, I believe this one's Justice League vs. Teen Titans, yep, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, and then you've got uh, No Holds Barred, the film starring Hulk Hogan in the 80s, which is complete crap, um, and then you've got Resident Evil Vendetta, I told you that third Resident Evil animated film would come up again, really great uh, Resident Evil film, that one, and then finally my last Blu-ray is... Son of the Batman, which is also an excellent Batman film. And then you've got my Star Trek Voyager collection. Basically, I couldn't fit them on, so I just had to put them like this. I have series 1 to 5, and then I have series 7. So I'm only missing series 6, I believe. Um, it's really annoying, but I usually get them quite... I usually get them, like, every now and then, just because they're quite expensive in those big boxes. But no, now we move on to this shelf, which is where all the most of the games sit. And on the top shelf, as you can see, we've got Parappa the Rapper on the PS1 shelf, and we've also got my Gimli mug, which is a really fantastic mug that I got, like, ten years ago, and I've never really put it on show, but it's a really pretty, really well-made mug that just I had to put on show because it's really pretty. Um, but anyway, here's my PS1 game, so I'll just move Parappa out of the way. 
Um, but that reminds me, I've played so much PlayStation All-Stars recently, like, and every time I play, I have to bring one of my Stubbinses down, because I've got loads of the mascots, so obviously I've got Sackboy and Nathan Drake and Parappa and Kratos, it's so cool. Um, so PS1 games, so I've got Aqua GT, I've got Bob the Builder and Tweenies. Um, as far as the big ones go, you've got the original Command & Conquer, Crash Team Racing, Crash Bash, Dino Crisis Driver 2, that one's Driver 2, it's just very hard to see. Fate of Black, Fear Effect, Final Fantasy 7, uh, Gran Turismo 1, the original Grand Theft Auto, and then Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, that is an absolute classic. Um, and then we've got Lego Island 2, Lego Races, the Italian job, which came out in 2001 when the PS2 was out, shockingly. Um, but it's a childhood game. Um, then you've got the two Medal of Honor games, which are really cool. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, it's there. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid, one of my favourite games of all time. Then you've got whatever this is. Oh, Ninja Shadow of Darkness, I totally forgot about that. Resident Evil 2, one of my favourite Resident Evils in the series. This is football, you've got Spec Ops, uh, Spec Ops Combat Assault, sorry. Um, the T Tomb Raiders, I've got Tomb Raider 1, 2, and Last Revelation. Truck Racing, Re-Rally, Worms, Worms Armageddon, WWF, at, uh, Smackdown 2. And the final one is, uh, I can't remember, oh, it was X-Men Mutant Academy. Yeah, I totally forgot that that game existed. Um, so after PS1 games, we move down to PlayStation 2. Now these are going to take forever to go through. So I'm going to read off a couple of the big ones. Um, Beyond Good and Evil, Bionicle... Burnout 3, uh, sorry about my finger being in the way of the camera. Uh, Disney Pixar's Cars, which I actually replayed uh, uh, like quite recently, and it's a really, really fun game. Uh, Def Jam Fight for New York, one of my favourite games on the console. Um, I'm trying to think what else they go past. Um, I'm going to have to move the Bloodborne Hunter out of the way. Put him in that corner. Um, Gauntlet Seven Sorrows, Goldeneye Rogue Agents are a game I have very fond memories on, regardless of how people view it, I have very fond memories of that game. Ico, The Incredibles game, and all the Jack games, um, and then James Bond uh, Nightfire, which is also a good game, and Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, which is far superior to the Evolution game they released very recently. So I'm just going to put the Hunter back. Up. I need them to release more Stubbinses, because I need more. Um, and then on this shelf, we've got Aloy from Horizon. She's just so adorable. Um, and she's also, one of the cool things is Aloy also has the the focus on her ear, which is cool. Um, so on this shelf, uh, we have Just Cause, Killzone, Kingdom Hearts, Legacy of Cain, Legend of Spyro. That game there that's blacked out is actually Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Two Max Payne, we've got Medal of Honor Frontline and European Assault. Mercenaries 1 and 2, which are both great games. Metal Gear Solid 3 is on there. Metal Gear Solid 2, I have no idea where that is. I must have lost it. Um, Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, and 3, and Gladiator. Rayman Hoodlum Havoc, Red Faction 1 and 2. Red Resident, Resident Evil 4, The Steel Book, which is somewhere. It's, it's right there. You totally missed it. Uh, one of my favourite games of all time, obviously. Uh, Robot Wars Arenes of Destruction, Rocky Legend, Seek and Destroy, Shadow of Colossus. There's so many games on the shelf that I had fond memories with, and that's why this is my favourite console of all time. Aloy, I'm just going to move you out of the way. Um, and then you have Silent Hill 2 Special Edition. The Simpsons hit and run a game I've really have fond memories of. Sonic Heroes, again, a game some fond memories. Uh, Spongebob Squarepants, the movie, End of the Dragonfly, SSX3, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, and Bounty Hunter, and Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. I have fond memories of all those games. Honestly, I really like Bounty Hunter, I really like Revenge of the Sith. Okay, I'm gonna get down. And then my final PS2 games are the Suffering, um, Tenshu Wrath of Haven, which is really fun, Theme Park World, which is... I was actually... My girlfriend's now playing on... PlayStation, um, she's playing it on, PS, on PS1, because I think that version is much better. This one's still a good game, it's just I haven't really played this one in a long time, and I'm much more familiar with the original one. Um, and then we've got Time Splitters Future Perfect, and the first two Time Splitters, they're all great games. Uh, Tony Hawk's Underground, uh, Tom Cat's Splinter Cell, Chaos Theory, and Splint the original Splinter Cell. Then we've got Transformers Special Edition. Uh, we've got True Crime Streets of LA, Titus Made in Tiger 1 and 2, Ultimate Spider-Man, Unreal Tournament, Beautiful Joe, Wallace and Gromit, uh, Project Zoo, which is a game I really have fond childhood memories of. And then it's a bunch of WWE games after that, Smackdown vs Raw, 
to 2008 and then you've got Smackdown just bring it shut your mouth here comes the pain and then you've got X-Men 2 Wolverine's uh, Revenge X-Men Legends X-Squad and the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, game Duelist of the Roses is it yeah the Duelist of the Roses and then we move on to PS3 uh, and we've got a little sack boy here little sack boy uh, we're gonna move him out of the way we're going to look at PS3 games. So we've got Battlefield Bad Company 2. You've got... There's actually a couple downstairs that I should mention. There's PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale downstairs. There's Little Big Planet downstairs. And there's Battlefield 3 downstairs, the limited edition. They're all downstairs. My Horizon Zero Dawn is also downstairs because Sherelle is currently playing them. Um, what else have we got here, though? We've got the Oblivion 5th Anniversary Edition. We've got Dragon's Dogma, which I really haven't played in a long time, but that was a game that had so much potential. Uh, Far Cry 2 is a really great game. You've got God of War, you've got God of War 3, the collection, and 3, sorry. Heavy Rain, um, my Beyond Two Souls steelbook. Um, you've got Infamous and Infamous 2. You've got Killzone and Killzone 3, a steelbook. You've got Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, steelbook. Uh, you've got Motor Storm, uh, Pacific Rift, and Apocalypse, and then you've got whatever that is. That's a long title. Uh, oh, you've got Metal Gear Solid Four, Guns of the Patriots, obviously, and then Ratchet and Clank, uh, Tools of Destruction, and then if you move down, you've got the rest of my PS3 games, which are here. Um, you've got Ratchet and Clank, Crack in Time, and All for One. You've then got Red Dead Redemption, I believe. Yep, Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare. Uh, you then got Resistance Fall of Man, Resistance 2, and Resistance 3, Sonic Generation, Spec Ops The Line, Toy Story, I believe, yep. Uh, and then you've got Twisted Metal, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Uncharted, Uncharted Among Thieves, and Uncharted Drake's Deception. Um, that is all my PS3 games. I don't have as many, obviously, because my gen was the Xbox uh, and the PS3. I just bought for exclusives. Um, so here we have my original... Free uh, Xbox games, the original Xbox, not the Xbox One, the Xbox that came out in 2001, I think the original Xbox was. But anyway, we've got Doom, the, the special edition, the limited edition. We've got Thief Street, Halo, Hitman Contracts, Hulk Almond Destruction, uh, Medal of Honor Front, uh, Rising Sun, sorry, Metal Gear Solid 2 Subsistence, which I only bought because it says subsistence on it, Panzer Dragoon Saga, Star Wars Republic Commando, and Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, just because it's better on uh, the original Xbox, apparently. And then we move into 360. Now, I've done a collection video on this a long time ago. I imagine nothing's really been added, but I'll just look at some of the highlights again. Alan Wake, you got the Bioshock games, which are there with... Um, it's here, I believe. With... It's here. With uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Yep. Uh, you got Bioshock Infinite there. you got the Batman games. you got um, you got... Arkham Asylum, Arkham City Steelbook, and Arkham Origins. Arkham Origins is okay. Uh, you got Brink there, Brutal Legend, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and World at War. The Club, which is a game nobody remembers. You've got Nathan Drake over here just chilling. Uh, I'll put him in that corner. Boop. And then you've got the Darkness games, which are fantastically underrated. You've got the Dead Rising 2 Steelbook Special Edition. You've got uh, Dragon Age Origins, DMC, DMC. Skyrim, Enslaved, Odyssey to West, Fallout 3, and New Vegas. You've got a bunch of FIFA games. Uh, and then down here, uh, you've got Forza, Fracture, Gears of War 2 Special Edition. No, Gears of War 1 Special Edition. Gears of War 2 Special Edition. Gears of War 3 uh, Steelbook, and then Gears of War Judgment. Uh, you've got GoldenEye Reloaded. You've got uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. You've got Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo Wars. Special edition still book. You've got Hitman HD trilogy. You've got the professional edition for Hitman Absolution. You've got LA Noir. You've got Injustice Gods Among Us, which is a great game still, even though Injustice 2 is far better. Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, a game I've never really given much of a chance. Uh, you've got Mafia there. You've got Mass Effect. You've got Lord of Rings Conquest, which is a game that apparently goes for a lot of money these days. Mass Effect, the special edition. You've got Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, Max Payne, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, Metal Gear Rising, Metro 2043, Metro Last Light, Minecraft, Mirror's Edge, The Orange Box, Perfect Dark Zero, Rage, which is, is obviously there's a new one out now, so that's all the buzz. The Saboteurs, quite an underrated game. You've got Two Human, one of the worst games ever. WWF All Stars, which is a bunch of fun. And then you move into my original Xbox games, which. A lot of people on my channel probably didn't even know I had original Xbox. I mean, uh, sorry, the Xbox One now. But yeah, I do have myself an Xbox One, but I only have a couple of games. I've got Halo, the Master Chief Collection, Gears of War, the Ultimate Edition, 
just because I wanted everything up to date. Gears of War 4, just because I wanted to see how it played, and it plays fantastic. And then uh, the Rare Replay Collection, because I wanted to play Conker's Bad Fur Day, and I'm about halfway through it. And then finally, we're on the bottom shelf, which is like cartridge-based games and Nintendo and stuff. So what we've got is we have, and I'm going to have to pull these out, we've got 1080 Snowboarding, we've got um, Quake, Quake 2, I believe. Yeah, I think this is Quake. No, it's this is the Zelda Ocarina of Time that I have. Um, we have Quake 2, we've got Turok, Dinosaur Hunter, then we've got some cartridges just out of the case. Uh, we've got, so I'll just take them and have a look. We have uh, Goldeneye 007, we've got uh, Perfect Dark, and then this is going to be WCW Revenge, yep, and then this one's going to be WWF No Mercy. I'm still waiting for my friend to give me back uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, he'll give me that back, I'm sure, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, then we've got my Wii games, so the only really important ones here are all the, the exclusive stuff, to be honest. The House of the Dead games are okay. There's uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. There's New Super Mario Bros. 3D. There's Mario Kart Wii. There's Mario Party 8. Um, there's Mario Strikers Charge Football. Resident Evil, both of them. Dark Side and Umbrella Chronicles. Super Mario Galaxy 2. You've got Super Smash Bros. Brawl. You've got Wii Play. You've got... Wii Sports Resort, you've got Smash vs. Raw 2009, and you've got two GameCube games, Star Wars, uh, Jedi Outcast, and then you've got Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, and then the Rocky game, the original Rocky game. And then you go into my Sega Mega Drive games, which you just have to get a bit more comfortable. And you've got John Madden's Football, uh, you've got FIFA 95, you've got the Mega Games Collection 1, which I can't remember what's on it. Um, I think it's nothing too special, Super Hang On, Italian 90, yeah. Um, and then you've got Mega Games 2, which is much better. That's Streets of Rage and Golden Axe, both on there. You've got the original Mortal Kombat. You've got uh, Phantom 2020, which is a game I got completely free from a store. So thank you to that store. You've got two copies of Sonic the Hedgehog, one in slightly better condition. You've got Sonic the Hedgehog 2. You've got Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, which is great. And then you've got WWF Raw. And then you've finally got three PC games. Oblivion, Star Wars, um, Galactic Battlegrounds, and The Sims. So that is all the shelf stuff. That is all the stuff on these shelves. And where I have to go next, and I essentially have to turn around and show you this. So this is not all of my consoles, obviously, because some of them are in the cabinets. One of them is already out. but And I don't have an N64 anymore. My PS2 is loaned out to my brother at the minute. Um, but these are my consoles, so at the minute we've got PS1 with a memory card in it, and we've got all the wires that go with it. Got PS2 up here, the PS2, when I get it back, will go here. Um, we have my Sega Mega Drive with all the wires, we have my Wii with all the wires, and my Xbox 360 would go at the bottom, as this uh, memory card designates. Then we have this coffee table, which is just there to put my drink of water on, because I really need it. Lovely. We have my Professor Snape wand that I got from uh, from Harry Potter World. And then we have my DS case, which I, a lot of people didn't know I probably had a DS. I don't I don't I can't remember where the cases are for the games and I really wanted to put them on the shelf. Um but I do have a bunch of games on that DS. Um Pokemon Silver, um Soul Silver, sorry, uh The Blob 2 uh, Smackdown Mr. Raw 2008, I believe, Nintendogs, Labradors, you know, that sort of thing that you were going to get when you were a kid. And then finally, it's time to show you where all the magic happens. So, this is where I game. Uh, my teddy bears are right behind me. My 360 is out at the minute because I'm currently playing Smackdown vs. Raw 2007 because I'm playing the GM mode. Um, and then I've got my Xbox One controller there. My Xbox One is at the bottom, my PS4 is there, my PS4 controllers are over there, and there's a bunch of PS4 games I'm playing at the minute here. So you've got uh, Mortal Kombat X, you've got uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, because I'm really enjoying playing that again. It's a really good fighter if you learn the mechanics. Injustice 2, one of the best fighters I'd say ever made. And then um, Shadow of the Colossus 3 Master, just because I want to replay that again. So this is where everything happens. And then if we look up, we have... Uh, Batman prints or Batman canvases that I got all the way back when I first went to uni and I was told to put up in my room but I wasn't allowed to put nails in the wall so I couldn't hang up. I've hung them up here. They look beautiful. I believe this is the first Batman comic. This is the first one with the Joker and this is the first time they all came together. So there's that and then there's my John Cena hat on the door I got from the last WWE event I went with my friend. 
Uh, shout out to Chris. And then we've got a picture, a Halo piece of art. Now, I really love this art. This art is done by Pixel Noise Studio. Shout out to them because their art is fantastic. This is the one that my brother got me for Christmas. He knows I love Halo. And he got me this art for Christmas. I love Halo to bits. And it's a beautiful art. The colours on it are so dynamic and pretty. The frame's pretty as well. I couldn't unfortunately get another frame. But I wanted this sort of art again. So what I did is I, I bought some more of that style of art. So as you can see, we've got Horizon Zero Dawn there. The colours are just beautiful. Uh, the frames aren't the same anymore. But the frames really do help this art stand out. So I'm not too bothered. And they were quite cheap. Uh, we've got Bioshock there, maybe my favourite, really pretty. And then Tomb Raider, Sherelle really likes Tomb Raider, so I thought I'd get her one of those. And then they actually gave us one for free. Um, it doesn't have the name of the game on, which I would have appreciated. But I'm I'm so looking forward to getting more art if I get more free art. Um, really, really nice Assassin's Creed Odyssey art there. And um, I guess the last thing I need to show you is if we come out here. If we come out here. What you can see is my rest of my pop vinyl are in here. So at the top, we have mine and Sherelle's Builder Bear. We have Sherelle's Piplup. And we have my uh, Man United Bear that I got, you know, like 10 years ago. Uh, then we have our encyclopedias with all my wrestling pop vinyl. So Chris Jericho's over there compiling a list. You got Rock and, sorry, not Rock, Goldberg and Hogan having a stare down. You got the WWE title in the background, Finn Balor at the front. You got Seth Rollins, Undertaker, Rousey, and the Bella Twins. And then on this shelf, you've got my strategy guide, which I've already done a video on and all of my Marvel uh, pop vinyl. So you've got Thanos there against Captain America, Scarlet Witch, Iron Man, Spider-Gwen, Giant Man, Falcon, Captain America again, and then Spider-Man who refuses to stand up. And then here you've got TV show, it's basically fantasy pop vinyl. So you've got all my Doctor Who pop vinyl. You've got David Tennant, K-9, the Dalek, you've got the Silence and the Fourth Doctor in the background. You've got Jack Harkness, you've got Rose Tyler, um, and then here you've got Game of Thrones, you've got the mountain there, that's a special edition mountain. You've got Jamie Lannister, I mentioned these the other day in my Game of Thrones review. You've got Oberyn Martell, you've got Peter Baelish, and you've got Danny right there. And then you've got my Lord of the Rings pop vinyl in the background, you've got Treebeard there, he's a really cool looking one. Aragorn, Gollum, and Samwise Ganji. And then you've got just two Walking Dead ones, I've got Gabriel and Rick Grimes. And then finally, the last shelf is... This is um my collection of just miscellaneous pop vinyl you got marvin the martian at the front you got oscar the grouch you got wally uh you got captain kirk you got lightning mcqueen hannibal lecter conor mcgregor uh you know the flash uh starfire dresses the flash the dude just totally miscellaneous pop vinyl and then that is my box of uh comic books and then my graphic novels are in whoops uh, my graphic novels are in the study um, where we keep all of our books together, but I'm not going to show you that today, I don't think. This is just a box of miscellaneous wires at the minute. Um, maybe I'll do something else with it. We've got this picture of Captain America, which I talked about the other day, and then my big Old Trafford print, uh, the thing that I've had in my room for years, is hanging on that shelf. Um, so, guys, that is a... Oh, and finally on the door, I've got my Endgame poster and my two Infinity War posters. Um, but finally, guys, that is my uh, game room. So I want to thank you for watching. This has been a long video. My arm is really worn out from holding this phone. Uh, I want you to tell me your thoughts. What do you think to my game room? What do you think to the prints from Pixel Noise? Shout out to them. Their art is fantastic. What do you think to my game collection? Do you think there's anything else I could do? Uh, I guess that's about it, guys, though. Thanks for watching. This has been Revolver Rosselart.